Your Excellency the President. Your Excellency the President, High Excellency the First Lady, Your Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, members of cabinet present here, principal secretaries, our guests, the cabinet administrative secretaries who will be taking their oaths today, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this event. I now welcome Reverend Kisatu to lead us in a word of prayer. Reverend Kisato, please. Pasi, let's pray. This morning, our Father and our God, we thank you so very much for your great blessing. Thank you for this day that you have given us to rejoice and be glad in you. Thank you, Lord, for our president. We thank you for what you have done and what you are doing in our nation. Thank you for the leaders and thank you even for the grain that you have given us across the nation. Lord, this morning, I bring these men and women to you who are taking an oath today. Lord, use them for your own glory in our nation. We pray that their lives and the lives of your great men and women in this nation will be a testimony and forever will give you praise for what you're going to do using them for our nation. We thank you and we praise you as we continue. We ask for your blessing, your favor, and your grace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you. We may take our seats. I now welcome the head of public service and his distinguished team to make the state invocation and progress this state ceremony. Mr. Felix. transmitted the nominees to the National Assembly for parliamentary vetting and approval. So on Tuesday, 21st March 2023, the National Assembly through the Speaker referred the nominees back to Your Excellency as the appointing authority, citing lack of jurisdiction. The Speaker's memorandum notes in part as follows. The obligation to respect, uphold, and defend the Constitution enjoins the House to refrain from assuming and discharging a role that it has not been expressly assigned by the Constitution or written law. In that regard, the National Assembly is unable to vet the nominees in the absence of an express constitutional or statutory requirement to do so. As a consequence of the revival by the Speaker of the National Assembly, Your Excellency effected the appointment of all nominees as Chief Administrative Secretary. The appointments are published in the Gazette, Kenya Gazette as notice number 3664 of 22nd March 2023. Your Excellency, having discharged all the constitutional and statutory requirements for appointment of Chief Administrative Secretaries, this state ceremony is therefore convened in fulfillment of the constitutional requirements pursuant to Article 74 of the Constitution of Kenya, Public Service Act, and Public Officers Ethics Act that requires that that before assuming a public office, acting in a public office, or performing any function in a state and public office, a person shall take and subscribe to the oath or affirmation of office. Your Excellency, sir, we now proceed 
to administer the solemn oath or solemn affirmation of due execution of office. So we begin with Your Excellency's appointee to the position of Chief Administrative Secretary, Office of the Deputy President. Your Excellency, sir, with your kind indulgence and permission, I now invite Ms. Anne Wanjiku Mwangi to take her place at the podium for our oath of office. I, Anne Wanjiku Mwangi, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution of Kenya, and at all the laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the Office of Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consistently to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, permit me to, allow, to now invite Mr. Nicholas Gabia Rioba, Chief Administrative Secretary in the Office of the Deputy President, to subscribe to this oath of office. I, Nicholas Ngabia Rioba, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the Office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required in the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, sir, we now proceed to invite Mr. Edwin Sudiwanda Busi, CAS Officer of the Deputy President. I, Edwin Sudi Wandabusi, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that at, I, at, I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as a Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Honorable Minister Nyaboke Omanga, CAS, Minister of Interior and National Administration. I, Millicent Nyaboke Omanga, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya and that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as a Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a Chief Administrative Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, permit me to now invite Honorable Sharif Athman Ali, CAS in the Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. I, Sharif Athman Ali, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people, of, the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the function of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, permit me now to invite Honorable Isaac Maigua Mwaura, CAS, in the Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. I, Isaac Maigua Mwaura, being appointed as Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution of Kenya, and that at all other, and other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office of Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will, I, I, I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Sec Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability so Help me, God.
Your Excellency, permit me now to invite Honorable Samuel Kuntai Tunai, CAS Minister of Interior and National Administration. I, Samuel Kuntai Tunai, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and up uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will uh, a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will do not default directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required, required for the due discharge of my duties as chief administrative secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, now permit me to invite Honorable Rahem Hassan, CIS, in the Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. I, Rehema Hassan, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the, the people and the Republic of Kenya in the Chief in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the Republic, to the President, of, of the President for the good management of the Republic, of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, 
that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and commit, committed to my secrecy except as may be require, required for, the, for due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, now permit me to invite Honorable Alfred Agoi Masadia, CAS Minister of Defense, to take his solemn affirmation of office. I, Alfred Agoi Masadia, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do solemnly affirm that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will undertake to hold my office as the Chief Administrative Secretary with the honor and the dignity, that I will be a true and a faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, may I now invite Ambassador Mahmoud Ali Saleh, CAS, Minister of Interior and National Administration.
I, Ambassador Muhammad Ali Saleh, being appointed Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Uh, Excellent sir, may I now invite the Honorable Joseph Kirui Limo, CAS, the National Treasury and Economic Planning. I, Joseph Kirui Limo, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya, in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will undertake to hold my office of the Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, may I now invite the Honorable Beatrice Ngatha Nyaga, Chief Administrative Secretary to the National Treasury and Economic Planning. I, Beatrice Nkadhanyaga, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and the all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief and Administrative Secretary that I will undertake to hold my office as Chief and Administrative Secretary with the honor, dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the, Repub of the public, of public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committing to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consistently and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, we now proceed to Honorable George Adha Mangi Kongera, CAS Minister of Foreign, Affairs, Foreign and Diaspora Affairs. I, George Arthur Mangi Gongera, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such a matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary. 
and that I will perform the functions of my office consensually and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, so I now invite Honorable Ambassador Hussein Tunea Dado, CS, Minister of Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action. I, Hussein Tunea Dado, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I would at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will, I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary. That I undertake to hold my office as a Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity. That I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. And that I will not divulge directly or indirectly, such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Benjamin Jomo Washali, CAS Minister of Roads and Transport.
I, Benjamin Jomo Ashiadi, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya and I will obey, respect, uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Ms. Catherine Wanjiku Waruguru, Chief Administrative Secretary in Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs. I, Catherine Wenjiku Waruguru, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, I do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will well truly and serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my chief, um, I, that I undertake to hold my office as a chief administrative secretary with honor and dignity, and that I will be true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to, as to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for due discharge of my duties as a chief cabinet secretary and that I will perform my functions at a, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability so help me god
Sir, I now invite Honorable Engineer Nicholas Gumbo Wajonya, CAS, Minister of Roads and Transport. I, Engineer Nicholas Gumbo Wajanya, <coughs> being appointed as Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold the Const this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and a faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties, and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my knowledge, ability. So help me God. Sir, I now invite Honorable Dr. Victor Kiyoko Munyaka, CAS, Minister of Lands, Public Works, Housing, and Other Development. I, Victor Kyoko Munyaka, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uh, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, I now invite uh, Ms. Nancy Charity Nanyama Kebaba, CAS Minister of Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action. I, Nancy Charity Nanyama Kibaba, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of a Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be tr a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. So I now invite Mr. Dennis Ndue Tumbi, CAS, Minister of Information, Communications, and the Digital Economy. I, Dennis Njue Tumbi, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a Chief Administrative Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
sir. I now invite Mr. Eli Stephen Loldebe, CAS Minister of Education. I, Eli Stephen Loldepe, being appointed the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the Office of Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office of, as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not defer directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform my functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Um, Your Excellency, I would kindly request all of us to be silent when the oath of office is taken. Please. Your Excellency, let me now invite Mr. Simon Mwangi Kamau Kikuru, CAS, Minister of Information, Communication and the Digital Economy. I, Simon Mwangi Kamau Gikuru, being appointed the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do so that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I, will, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Sir, I now invite Mr. James Kimanthi Baluka, CS, Minister of Health. I, James Kimandi Mbaluka, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all the other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of, the, of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Lilian Tomitom, CS, Minister of Investment, Trade and Industry. I, Lillian Chepto Tomitom, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary. That I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity. That I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. That I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary. And that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Excellency, I now invite Katib Abdallah Mwashetani, CAS Minister of Health. I, Atib Abdallah Mashetani, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Honorable Mark Lomonokol, CAS, Minister of Education. I, Mark Lomunokol, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do so that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor, dignity, and that, and that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability, so help me God.
Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Honorable Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, CAS, Minister of Cooperatives and Micro, Small, Medium Enterprises Development. I, Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as should come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously to the, and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, I now invite Honorable Anab Mohamed Gure, CAS, Minister of Education. I, Anna Mohamed Gure, being appointed a Chief, Sec Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that <clears throat> I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other law of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President of the Good Management of the Public Affairs of Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matter I shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except 
as may be required for the due discharge of my duty as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the function of my office concessionally and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, may I now invite Mr. Honorable Jackson Kiptanui, CAS Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development. I, Jackson Kiptanui, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I'll be, I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I, I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the, of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not di diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, may I now invite Mr. Daniel Wamahiu Kiongo, CAS Minister of Agriculture and Livestock Development. I, Daniel Wamahio Kiongo, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear 
that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Admin Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Honorable Dr. Evans Odiambo Guidero, CAS, Minister of Investment, Trade and Industry. I, Evans of the Ambukidero, being appointed the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution of Kenya and all laws of the Republic. I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary that undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I'll be true and faithful counselor to the, to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary. And I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, may I, may I now invite Ms. Rael Chepichi Lelei, CAS Minister of East African Community, the Assals and Regional Development. I, Rael Chebichi Lelei, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear I will all, I will all at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and I will well and truly serve the people the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office of Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity. And I will be a true faithful counselor to the President for the, for the good management of public, affair, public affairs of the Republic of Kenya that I will do, I will not di divulge directly or indirectly, such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to the secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary. And I will perform the functions of, the, of, of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, may I now invite Honorable Vincent Kemose Mogaka, CAS, Minister of Investment, Trade and Industry. I, Vincent Kemose Mogaka Paul, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of a Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and effective counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and the committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability.
So help me, God. So I now invite Honorable um, Mr. Amos Chegemugo, CAS Minister of Cooperatives and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. I, Amos Chegemugo, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary that I will undertake to hold my office as a Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of public affairs of Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required, uh, required for the due discharge of my duties as, as Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will perform my functions of my office constantly to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, I now invite Honorable Rehema Dida Jaldesa, CAS Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. I, Rehema Dida Jaldesa, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya and that I will obey, respect, uphold, 
this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as and be required for the due discharge of my duty as Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will perform the function of my office conscientiously and to the best of my knowledge. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite the Honorable Wesley Korir, CAS, Minister of Youth Affairs, Sports and Arts. I, Wesley Kipchumba Korir, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and faithful counselor, counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not indulge, diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as the Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, I now invite Honorable Charles Njagua Kanyi, CAS Minister of Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts. I Charles Njagwakanyi, 
being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and a faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to, the, to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite Dr. Chrysanthus Wamalwa Wakungu, CAS, Minister of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation. I, Chrysanthus Wamalo Wahungu, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary. I undertake to hold my office as a Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I'll not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, I now invite Honorable John Nyaga Mushiri, CAS, Minister of Environment, 
climate change and forestry. I, Nyaga John Mushiri, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will be respect and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other rules of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as a Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and evasive counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties, and committed to my secrecy except as I may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a Chief Administrative Secretary, that I will perform the function of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may, not, may I now invite Honorable Wilson Soshian, CAS Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage. I, Wilson Sosion, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as the Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, may, may I now invite Honorable Mary Yaine, Senator, CAS, Minister of Energy and Petroleum. I, Mary Yaine, Senator, being appointed the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and, uh, and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well, truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to, to hold, that I will undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not defer directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief, Sec Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will discharge my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary and that I will perform the function of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite Mr. Sunya Ore, CAS, Minister of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation. I, Sunya Ore, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya 
in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary in honor and dignity, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge, divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall, shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite Honorable John Lodebe Nakara, CAS, Minister of Energy and Petroleum. Lodepe Nakara John, being appointed as Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do you swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary? that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor, dignity, that I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divide directly or directly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the search of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to be the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, may I now invite Honorable David Korir Kiblagat Kerich, CAS Minister of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs. I, David Kipkorir Kiplagat Kerich, being appointed Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So, help me God. Your Excellency, may, may I now invite Professor Elijah Kitonga Rintaugu, CAS Minister of Labor and Social Protection. I, Rija Gitonga Rintaugo, being appointed as the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that at, uh, I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I'll, be, that I'll obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I'll, I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, may I now invite Ms. Mwanamaka Amani Mabruki, CAS Minister of East African Community, the Assaults and Regional Development. I, Mwanamaka Amani Mabruki, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite Honorable Frederick Otieno Outa, CAS Minister of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs. I, Frederick Cotieno Outa, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as the Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required 
for the due, uh, for the due discharge of my duties, my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and, I, and that I will perform the function of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite Mr. Alan Kibet Koske, Chief Administrative Secretary in the Office of the Attorney General. I, Alan Kibet Kosge, being appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya, do swear that I, that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will serve, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and, and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, may I now invite Honorable Jacqueline Mwenesi Lukalo, <laughs> Ministry of Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry. Come and take her out of office. I, Jacqueline Mwenesi Lukalo, 
being appointed a chief administrative secretary in the government of Kenya, do solemnly affirm that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor President of the Good Management of the Public Affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties, and committed to my secrecy as may be required discharge of my duties as Chief Administrator, and that I will perform of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, with your Chief Administrative Secretary's having assumed office, it is now my humble duty and profound privilege to invite Your Excellency to confirm who have today been appointed and taken an oath to serve the Republic of Kenya. To you, to your families, Congratulations and welcome to Team Kenya. I know um, many of you participated in leadership in various aspects, in various levels. I know many of you have come from a broad array of expertise, knowledge and areas of, uh, of interest. In our midst here today, um, we've had people who have served as MCAs, others who have served as bloggers, <laughs> others who have uh, served as, uh, formerly as members of parliament, uh, uh, cabinet secretaries. Uh, some of you have served as governors. But today you have joined my team to work for the people of Kenya in the position of administrative secretaries. You have taken oath this morning before me and before this uh, solemn uh, gathering. You did not make a statement. You took oath. And I expect you to take the oath you have taken this, mo this morning with the seriousness it deserves, with the seriousness any solemn oath deserves. You have undertaken on your own volition to serve with honor and dignity. When you don't serve with honor and dignity, therefore it means you know what to do. 
I do expect that each and every one of you will serve with honor and dignity. Please remember those words as you serve in your capacity as administrative secretaries. Secondly, you have sworn to serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. I didn't hear anybody swear to serve their families or villages or communities or counties. I do expect each and every one of you to serve the people of Kenya in their entirety and the Republic of Kenya as constituted. I am also acutely aware that in this service there will be many challenges. You may not know everything. I want to implore upon you to take time to read, to understand, to consult, to ask, and to agree to be informed so that you can serve the people of Kenya better. I did make, in this administration, appointments deliberately across the country because it is our intention to bring Kenya together. I even went out of my way to appoint people who may not have necessarily voted for me. Because the elections are behind us, we must come together, irrespective of how we voted, irrespective of what political parties we voted for, or who we voted for, it is now time for us as a country to come together, to work together, so that we can better serve the millions of Kenyans who expect from us nothing short of service. I am also aware that all of us attend interviews. Sometimes you attend an interview and you succeed. Sometimes you attend an interview and you don't succeed. And when you don't succeed in one interview, you bid your time and wait for the next interview. I know that uh, some of you participated in the interview, in nominations, or in elections to try and serve the people of Kenya in various capacities. You may not have been successful, but you attended the interview at the Public Service Commission, and you are successful, and that's why you're serving. I refuse to condemn anybody who attended one interview and did not succeed that if they didn't succeed in one interview, then they are not fit to serve in any other capacity. I think each and every one of us deserves another chance so that they can serve the Republic of Kenya. Many of you have served in various other capacities, even as politicians. And I have deliberately appointed some of you because I am aware that you better understand service to the people because of your experience in serving in other capacities. And I am looking forward to you bringing the experience that you have acquired elsewhere in the service of the people of Kenya to serve in your new responsibilities. Let me also say as now as I speak to the fully constituted government of Kenya that the expectations 
of the people of Kenya are enormous, and the people of Kenya are right to expect from us because we have the capacity to deliver. Now, with a fully constituted government, there is absolutely no reason why we cannot, with speed and haste, deliver on the bottom-up economic transformation agenda upon which our administration was elected. We are already well on course on uh, some of the commitments that we made. We made a, a, a commitment on matters to do with supporting the people at the bottom of the pyramid. Today, the Hustler Fund has reached close to 15 million people and has lent close to 23 billion Kenya shillings. We are in the process of formulating the next steps of the Hustler Fund to be able to provide credit for micro and small enterprises and progressively provide financial resources for people at various levels, including the Women Enterprise Fund, so that we can better serve the people of Kenya. We are well on course on dealing with the challenge of unemployment. Uh, we have rolled out a comprehensive plan on housing that is targeting 200,000 houses every year, 600,000 jobs every year, and many enterprises that will be engaged in that process, even as we provide decent homes and allowing more Kenyans to be homeowners in our country. We are well on course on working on agriculture so that we can use agriculture not only to ensure that food security becomes a reality, but also to use agriculture for the transformation of our economy, creating jobs through agro-processing, value addition, and export, ensuring that we increase our incomes, but we also create opportunities for uh, manufacturing and agro-processing. I am looking forward to the fully constituted two team now to move with speed and ensure that we deliver on those commitments. We have concluded expensive discussions on universal health coverage, and shortly that will be rolled out to ensure that the commitment we made, that the lowest person in Kenya will pay not 500 shillings, but 300 shillings monthly to access medical insurance. I am very clear in my mind that this is the administration that is going to transform our country. I am looking forward to this team, fully constituted now, to work with me my deputy, prime cabinet secretary, the cabinet, and everybody else in moving now our country to the next level. Let me remind you finally that as you serve, you must serve within the parameters of law and the constitution because we have undertaken as an administration that Kenya is going to be built on the firm foundation of the rule of law. And none of us, irrespective of the position you occupy, irrespective of the responsibilities you have, irrespective of your social status or financial status, none of us is above the law. All of us are subject to the law and to the Constitution, and we must act in such manner us to respect our constitution and the provisions of law of the Republic of Kenya. 
again to all of you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on your appointment, congratulations on your taking oath successfully, and as I told you individually, I look forward to working with you at an individual level, in your ministries, and as you serve the people of Kenya. Asante sana. Uh, please uh, take our congratulations uh, to your families, and we look forward to working together to take our country to the next level. Asante sana, and my very best wishes, and may God bless you, all of you. Asante sana, mungu wabariki. Thank you.